if anything I've learned, it's it's not to take anything for granted. The good, the bad, the sleepless nights, cherish it all because it can be gone in a matter of moments. Robert and I, when we got together, um, we kind of knew right away we wanted to have a family. Later on ultrasound, we got the shock of a lifetime. He said, you know, I think it's something to the point of, do you see how many years here? And I'm thinking three. And he said, no, count them with me. I mean, I was just in utter shock. It was really miraculous. I kind of was getting to know them, you know, even though there were so many, like I would know which ones were like hanging on my rib or which one would kick at night or which one when Robert would start talking would like continuously flip. I did not feel quite right. And sure enough, I was already dilated to a five. And so there was really no stopping at that point. I was able to know that they heard me tell them that I love them. And I was able to sing to them. And those are the moments that I would trade almost anything for to do again. I don't think that I truly, really mourned it for years. I learned how to make myself get out of bed. oldest daughter, Sosie, and I like to say that she's like the band-aid that kind of healed us, but you can still see the scars. And um, the same with our second little girl. I hope that this is something that I can instill in them. Life is going to be ups and downs. There's going to be a lot of heartache, but you're strong enough to make it through. And on those days that you're not, I'm going to be there. I think I would put on the smile and I would I would be really joyful in the moments with my daughter, but I think I would feel guilty about it. And I think other women go through that. We feel guilty because we go on in our lives. We feel like, oh, you shouldn't have been happy that Christmas or you shouldn't have been happy this day. You should have been thinking of them. It's like such a guilt we carry as moms that we don't allow ourselves to feel happiness and joy. We're kind of made to feel less than when things don't go perfectly. We are not defined by that. You are not defined by that. We just have to really hold on and know who we are truly inside and hold on to that support.